welcome to today's video. I just inter I just overheard a conversation between Gabby and Sophie and Gabby said, Sophie, you know what would be great is if you put two socks on. And then Sophie said, oh, I couldn't find two socks. So she's only got one sock on, yeah. That is the way our life goes. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that, we, that uh, we made some big changes to our household since we last talked to you. We have officially adopted another child. You guys, we adopted another child. So it's been uh, in the works for a long time. We haven't really told you guys about it, um, but we have been thinking about adopting another daughter. You guys know we just do not have enough on our hands as it is. We don't have enough girls to ride our horses. We have so many horses. So we decided we're gonna adopt ourselves a new daughter and she's here now she lives with us now she's here i'm going to introduce you guys to her so get ready to meet our new daughter you guys all right you guys i want to introduce you to maya the new day by day family member come on out miss maya <laughs> She's been crying. It is. It's been a little bit of most. She has oh my been. God, you got dogs. It's been a little bit of a, an emotional adjustment for her. Oh. So, what do you have to say about your life now here, Maya? I Are you feeling carefree? Huh? Or do you feel carefree? Refreshed? Yeah. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You may think that she looks a lot like Sophia. But just with shorter hair, and yeah, it's true. They could be twins. Isn't that crazy? That Maya, let's talk oh, about oh, your oh, hair, Maya. Oh. Why do you wear your hair so short, Maya? Because I just cut it. Why did you cut it? Because I wanted my hair gone. Why did you want your hair gone? Because it was in a rat's nest. It was a rat's nest every day? Sophia yeah. has that problem, too. Maybe it's because I am Sophia. <laughs> okay, you guys. We can't trick you. It is Sophia. So, uh, Sophia's mornings are rough every day. <laughs> she had a bath last night and washed her hair and put conditioner in it. And no matter what she does, it's just a uh, awful thing that she has to try and get through with the hair. She's not ready to brush it the way it needs to be brushed every single day. So, she begged us to cut it. So, I cut it for her. Oops, sorry. I cut it. It's probably not the best cut. But... It does the trick, and Sophie's self-esteem comes from who she is. She loves to be herself. She loves to show herself and be who she is. And I'm just worried, though, that it's going to curl and all of a sudden be up to here. Like, that could happen. Oh, we can brush it. <laughs> yeah, we can brush it we and we can straighten, straighten it. it. Yeah. We can chop it all off so I can be bald. Yeah, so how do you feel about your hair, though, Sophie? I hate it. You because... You hate your hair? Because Well, I like it now because um, it's always in a rat's nest. How do you feel about the cut? I love it. Do you think it? Yeah, I did a good job? Yeah. When I go like this, it's so short. It ends shortly. Yeah. And did I take three hours like the hairdresser? No! You took five minutes! Oh, I know. Gabby, what do you feel about her getting her hair chopped off? I don't honestly care. How would, would you feel comfortable getting your hair cut off? No, because if I cut my hair, my hair doesn't grow back. Yeah, it does not grow back. It's true. Sophie's hair grows like crazy, huh? I'm glad you're happy, so. Yes, it's true. Yesterday, <laughs> Sophie came to me and said, like, Mom, you need to cut my hair. Can you cut hair? Because we can't go to the hairdresser right now. And she hates going to the hairdresser, and I hate going to the hairdresser. It's the same thing. I cannot sit there for two or three hours while they cut my hair. It drives me insane. Like, it, I can't handle it. Anyways, and we also all had a really bad experience a few years ago when Gabby got her first haircut at the hairdresser. Um, there's a video about that out there somewhere. But anyways. Oh yeah, actually it wasn't her first haircut, but the first one that she really remembered. But anyways, so uh, today when I tried to help her cut her hair, brush her hair, there was a rat's nest so bad in there. We tried everything. We have this cream. We tried so many things to get it out. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's just do it. I'll cut your hair. And she was so excited. She like teared up because she just wants it gone. It's just too much work for she her. She asked you yesterday. She asked me yesterday and she asked Sam yesterday. Like she wants it. She wanted it gone. So we cut it. It's looking so much better. Yeah, it's really cute. So this is not, but this side is. Yeah, it's cute. This is not. Yeah, and we might have to adjust it as time goes on. We might have to adjust it as time goes on. Yeah, it's adorable. You don't recognize it until you put the inverse. A weight lifted off your life, huh? Yeah. 
I'm skinnier. <laughs> Can I eat more now? All right. So what's the problem? What happened this morning? Penny didn't need her her medicine, food, whatever, all that junk you put in there. So she didn't eat the probiotics. She didn't like probiotics. Did you make it into a mash? She didn't eat it. She'll eat it tomorrow when I make it. You yeah, just don't know how so to I make just it. Gave good. her a regular green. Did you save it? She was happy. Oh. No, I threw it. Yeah. Out. She's got to have it though. Is that work you're doing there? Yeah. Research. Research? What is it? A movie? Oak Island. Oak Island research. <laughs> anyway, we're back to normal. Uh, day by day girls are doing day by day homeschool. Right, Gabs? Day by day. I want grilled cheese. You want grilled cheese? Maybe, Maybe Sophie will make you one. You can make it. I'm not making I it. I don't like her. I don't trust her not poison. Would you put poison in her food? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes I feel like it too. Okay, so uh, obviously uh, that was just a joke about Sophie being our new adopted daughter. I might use that for our title and our thumbnail because um, sometimes when you um, video every single day, it, finding a title is really difficult and sometimes I try and make it funny, sometimes I take it from something that I say inside the vlog, like my... Our titles are never meant to be like mean or to... Mostly they're meant to be funny. Some people take them the wrong way and that's okay. You will never ever have everybody understand you in this world. Dollar store toy. Still intact. Catch. Guys, okay. So speaking of adoption though, I am happy with my five kids. Three boys, all grown up. I'm happy with my grandkids. I'm happy with the two girls that I have. I'm actually, I've been a mom for 32 years and I still have an 11 year old at home. So I'm excited. I'm just starting to become excited about the time Sam and I are gonna be alone and we're gonna get to do stuff. We're gonna get to enjoy our horses. We're gonna like go for coffee. We're not gonna have like all that all the kids stuff like I'm gonna miss it but I'm at oh, finally at a point in my life where I'm happy and I can see the end in sight but you guys I've been dreaming I've been dreaming like a lot lately that God has another plan for me I keep dreaming about a little boy that I'm gonna adopt I dreamt him on all different stages of life up till about two then you better get him now so I can have a kid to I know and he's a he's a newborn baby when we adopt him and I dream me talking to his birth mom But I'm not gonna ever go out there and I'm not ever gonna go and try and adopt a baby like <laughs> I'm done I feel fine. I feel fine being done I don't want a baby but I feel this baby coming to me and and it's super emotional because of all the times I've dreamed this little boy I feel like I know him and my heart yearns for him even though I don't know him and I don't want another baby like I do not want another baby God I do not want another baby like I'm happy I'm happy but you guys know that life has a way of sending you curveballs and how just when you think you're settled and everything's going exactly the way you want God throws a new curve in there and and suddenly you're off in a different direction and I mean I don't know for sure that that's gonna happen I've dreamed this baby enough times that I feel like it could happen but anyways yeah so that's just all I wanted to share about the whole adoption thing like for it to ever happen somebody will have to come to me and say Laura I need you to take this baby because otherwise it's not happening it's not happening one side's dry this side's not yeah it's weird besides Getting all chunky, but I have grilled cheese. You actually are really cute with it short, Sophie. Um, also, quick update before we get on with today's video. Uh, update on Miss Daisy Dew. So, last night after I posted that I'm sure she's deaf, like, honestly, you guys, we waited, si I, we suspected that she couldn't hear when she was a puppy, and then I waited six months. She's six months and two more days. No, she's six months old tomorrow. I waited this... I waited six months, well, four months to decide, and I don't think she's completely deaf because she she hears tones. I swear she hears tones. Not every tone, but some tones. Last night, I laughed hysterically while she was laying beside me. It could have been the vibration because she was attached to me. She always is attached to somebody. Um, and I laughed hysterically a few times and she jumped. And then another time, Gabby banged two pots together really high pitched and she flew. Like, she definitely heard it. And, but 99% of the other time, she didn't hear anything. Like, honestly, we've never had a six month old puppy not 
Like, have you ever seen a dog not get excited when you're like, Daisy, Daisy, come on, Daisy. Come on, come on, Daisy. Daisy, good girl, go on, Daisy. Like, okay, but watch this. Molly, move. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. She can see me now, but she's not reacting. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what it is. She's like hide it. these guys are like, what is happening? Yeah, see they respond. See? They respond. Oh, she heard it. She heard it. See? And it takes a lot. After a while. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Some of you guys are saying, take her to the vet. We did take her to the vet. As soon as we got her, we expressed our concerns because we actually had concerns right from the very beginning. And our vet tested her. We weren't able to be in there because of COVID. Um, so our vet actually did uh, try and attempt to see if she was deaf. And what she said to me was, Laura, I don't know if your dog is deaf. She doesn't appear to respond at all. If it's because it's her personality, I don't know, which is what we have been struggling with figuring it out. She said that she doesn't respond like a normal puppy, but there's no way to know that she's deaf. So, and like I said, there's only one place in Ontario that does the uh, testing, and it is hours and hours away, but we are gonna do that. It snowed again. A little bit of snow each night. All right, we are, oh, my purse. I switched to a bigger purse, and now I have like more stuff in it. Heavy, heavy as heck. Oh, I needed to wash my hair today, but I slept in. I got my hair today. And it's I a lie. I did not sleep in. Uh -oh. Did you forget your phone? I forgot my phone. Yep. Sam's walking to me. He's walking Went to, to me, phone. all sassy like, like he's about to say, ah, "You would have died without me because you wouldn't have had your phone." He's looking at me. He's giving me the look. You guys watch. Okay, your mitts on the floor here. Oh, cause you forgot your phone. Oh, thanks. You want some mitts? Yes, please. How come I feel like you're sassy? You sassy, Sam? No. Sassy today? No. So, yeah, you guys might not be able to tell, but he's a bit sassy. He's been sassy for the last three days. I don't know why. Before that, he was excellent for the whole Christmas holidays. So, I don't know what's going to have to happen to get him back. Wait, I think that's a package. It could be mine. Oh, there's a package. It's a package. I think my mom is that big, though. Yeah, who's is it? Sam, we're all watching Sam at the mailbox. Oh, he's coming toward us. Is he oh, coming toward like us? Oh, it's Sophie's. Is it Sophie's? Uh, Someone by the name of Laura. Woohoo! Uh, probably a mistake. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Is it my necklace? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited about this. This is something. It's gonna be a game changer. This is gonna be a game changer. Wait for me, wait for me. Yeah, they did not wait for me. The zoo is filled. Holy heck, the whole herd is here. Except for Gabby's horse. Aw, oh, there's Finny boy. They're literally all here though. So I love to see horses up in the trees. They're doing a marigold around, around the... <laughs> yeah. Where's Storm? Probably at the other round, Bill. All right, I'm. Now I'm gonna go with Gabby. She's 14 now. She doesn't need me anymore. I'm so, oh, Chino be walking away. Chino's moving though. I mean, that's a good sign, right? She cut him off at the pass. You should have made him join up with you. I think Storm is happy for Chino now. He is happy that he doesn't have to go and work. And work he has to do. So now that Chino's kind of back in 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 movement, he's doing well. He's not lame anymore. Uh, Gabby's gonna work him. He's just gonna do some light walk trot for a few days and then ease into the walk trot canter and then after a while ease into jumping. But we're also having the chiropractor come. Chino does have a thing where he gets stiff, he gets stiff in that Lost one leg. The Lost the bell boot, figures. It's your turn, Bambino, it's your turn. Oh, he seems so much more happy lately, being with his friends. Those legs be looking good. Just gotta make sure though, just gotta make sure. Somebody was talking about in the comments how like Chino's lame a lot. I suspect he probably was like that most of his life. Some horses are harder than others and thoroughbreds I feel like are harder than 
than most. And here's the thing, like a oh, tricky horse like like Chino that had, we did like, I feel like we just gotta find our way with him. Like we just have to find the right things that are gonna work for him. If it's shoes, if it's a certain kind of shoes, if it's no grass, which I definitely don't want him on grass this summer. I think that was our problem last year, even though nobody else agreed with me. I'm trying to say you guys is that Every choice you make in life brings you down a new path. And sometimes when you feel like the path that you've chosen is not a good path or not the path you want to be on, sometimes you're on that path because God wants you to be on it. And sometimes that path is meant to intersect many other different paths. So just because Chino is not perfect and just because Chino has some issues that we have to work with, work through, I don't feel like he's any less valuable to us. I feel like he is just as valuable. And I want you guys to know the exact same thing, that even though you might not be perfect, your hair might not be nice, you might not be popular at school, you might not be the smartest at school, you might not be the prettiest, you might not have the most money, that does not diminish how valuable you are to this world, to your own life, to other people's lives. Like every single person here is here for a specific reason and God gives you what you need to live the life you're meant to lead, to learn the lessons that you're meant to learn. So wherever you are right now in this life, know that there's a reason and know that it's valuable and know that you are valuable. That's all there is to it. There, that's all there is. Believe in yourself. Know that you're amazing. Know that you're valuable. And the rest is easy, you guys. Took him back to the field. That means that she must think that she can't ride him. Either he's fine, but she wants to do more than just do walk trot. I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm gonna go find her and see what happens. He didn't run from her. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think he's surprised you came back for him. Horses are so much smarter than we think. Like literally, I think he was just standing there minding his own business, eating the grass, knowing that Chino left. I think he was shocked she came back for him. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart attack when she stopped him on the trail. Anyway, she said that he was stiff, just a little bit stiff in that one leg, which he always has a problem with that leg, um, and he always works out of it. She said that she tried and he didn't work out of it, but it always takes him a while to work out of it, and it always is indicative of him needing a chiro. So whatever he kind of like gets stiff in that side, it's always because he needs a chiropractor. And also long-backed horses, I feel like, struggle more, but I think he needs a chiropractor because every time something happens to change the way you move, which is all the things that happen to him, it can affect, it can put your back out and stuff because you're, well you guys know how if one thing gets hurt, then you get pain in other spots because you're trying to favor the spot that hurts. <sighs> all right, now we're cooking with gas. And I also want to say that I'm not downplaying the fact that if you have a horse that gets lame often, how frustrating and awful and horrible it can feel and be, it's not as bad for us because we do have like, because we do have a second horse. Um, and so it's easy for us to still love Chino and keep him and still always work through his problems. But I understand that it's not like that for everybody and I understand how frustrating Frustrating it would be for some of you that only have one horse. I know why Finn didn't want to touch my hand because he doesn't recognize me. <laughs> and I showed him and I don't I don't think he likes it. You don't think he likes it? Literally. Finn, it's Sophie. It's your girl. Oh. <laughs> He's disappointed in me. <laughs> Did you want a different girl instead? Hey. Do you want my long hair back? I miss having them at home. I miss the connection. Yeah, and I think that's this true. Arena, right? This is a good barn for sure. But you do lose the connection. Like there's no connection like being with your horses all the time. Like remember they'd stand in the field and stare at our front door and be like, when are you coming? <laughs> There was so much pressure when they lived at home with us. There was, like, that's one of the big reasons that I like them to be 
at the barn because I'd look out the window and they'd all be standing there staring at the house like, I'd like to ride now or I'd like to go someplace. I'd like to do something, come out. <laughs> and here, they just have their friends and they can go and do whatever they want. I mean, Finn was nice to me. It's like a party here every day. Finn was and our really house was kind of like school. Finn was really nice to me. Yeah, he is really nice too. Because he didn't go anywhere. I know. He knew I was coming today. All right, so that is what I was looking for yesterday. This is the Cowboy Magic stuff. What I used on the mare's hair yesterday was that pink detangler. You guys remember from I showed you before? This pink detangler that we have. Like it's a, it's a conditioner. Well, this is the only stuff that works for Gracie's hair. And of course, it was at this barn. So now I have it. Okay, so Finny got a new bridle. And a lot of people are worried about how the throat latch is fitting on it. So we're going to show you guys what we do and what we've learned to do with our trainer. I can put it it's, so much easier. Yeah, like it's definitely a different bridle than the one we've been using, but we always do it in a way that the, we can put a fist in, in here. So I'm not sure, and you guys know that this thing adjusts, it goes up and, and this, down. we put two fingers. No, we put this two fingers go, there. This could even go a little bit tighter because I can put five fingers, but like, so this is how we do the throat latch. I can fit. We hands. make sure that we can fit a fist in there. So, and when he puts his head down, even that's more loose than what I put mine with more Penny. Than two fists. Yeah, but he, he only needs one fist. So, anyways, I'm not sure exactly why people think that there's something wrong with it or that it's not fitting correctly. Um, I don't know what part they're looking at. If they're is looking at up at here. Is this part I like? This part I let hang because I don't do both of them up. I think that's too it's loose, too Sophie. Much. But anyways, we do it the same every well, single time. It it's new. I don't know if that, like, oh, and it fits like this, you guys. Like, it's a funny fitting one. This is a really expensive one that we found. Yeah, and this it, one fits like this, which yeah. is cute. Yeah, which is probably why you guys think that she's putting it too tight. I don't know exactly. But you this is the way we've been trained, and this is the way it works for him. So hopefully that explains it a little bit more. And if you actually have a specific okay. issue with it where you don't think it's fitting, let us know. Besides the fact that I think Sophie has it a little too loose today. No, because it's but that's a how she fitting when he puts his head up and he normally puts his Yeah, head that's up. how she has it every single day. So, oh my goodness, we forgot to look at their swirl. Isn't that? Yes. Is it? Look at it. Right <gasps> he's got an S shape. It's a Z. It's a Z. He's got the crazy Z shape. So look, it and starts it's, here. Oh, no, it's right here. And then it goes up like this, like a Harry Potter. Oh no. Finny. It all makes sense now, dude. You guys see that? It's like there's three points. Look, one, two, three. You see it? There's three swirls. Let me see, watch out. Two, three. Yeah, he's got three. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, it's a... It's a Z, backward Z shape. See, up here, oh, Oops, what up about here, this? And it goes down to there. See the one there? Yeah. And then it goes down, wait. What about that? And then it goes down to here. So it's like zoo, zoo, like this. Oh. Fanny. No wonder he's crazy. I don't know crazy. why he has a big patch of hair right here. Okay, so you can also find the swirls on other parts of your body and if you find them in certain spots, it can indicate like a weakness someplace. Like, I bet you Chino has one on that one leg that's always a bit stiff. You know, um, where Stella had her little wound thing that has a scar now? Yeah. Um, that's probably a weak point for her. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, Gabby's going over the jump, over the jump, over the jump with Finn. And I kept saying, Sophie and I both said, how come you're not too pointing? Or how come you're not releasing, crest releasing? And she said, I am. And I said, but you're holding so tight that he can't move his head. And he always moves his head. She said she wasn't doing it. And I don't know what I'm looking at. So I said, okay, fine. We have a big fight about it. And I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, I truly don't. But I... So I said, I'm going to take a video and send it to Fiona. So then I got my phone out. And didn't she go over the jump two times with the best crest releases I've ever seen of life? She and she exactly says she, she says she did exactly the same. I'm probably wrong. I'm almost always wrong. But anyway, I sent it to Fiona. And Fiona said, those, were the, those two crest releases she just did were beautiful. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, when I go home tonight and I edit, let me tell you, I... I <laughs> 
All right, well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. My first is better because my hands are right here. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna send her video from the lesson, from the ride today. See if she still says the same thing. So anyway, that's my point, is that I'm gonna do it tomorrow or our next ride is in a video of Sophie doing a few things that I feel like she's finding bad habits. Like she used to sit trot beautifully and now she bounces. I'm just not gonna sit trot. <laughs> I'm gonna take video, send it to Fiona and let Fiona scream at her. All right, let's look. Let's look. Oh, he's got, oh my goodness. He's got two. He's got three. Same with Finn. He has one right there, like the nice normal one, friendly boy, it's actually kind of low. And then he's got, He's like, stop touching my head. He's like, give me what's in your purse. And then he's got like a big one right there. See? Right there, way high. High, high means crazy. High means Finn. crazy horse. Finn? Crazy. High swirls mean they have a crazy gene. You have a crazy gene. Okay, so the last thing I have to tell you guys is that you guys know how we were talking about like that. The knots that the girls got in their hair. Two days ago, the day before I shot that Penny had a knot in her hair, was I brushed it all out, made her all beautiful. And then the very next morning, when we went down there, she had that crazy knot. It was like somebody braided it. And then the people are started talking about old wives' tales. And Willow's old owner sent me a message this morning, and she was saying that we need to bring a screw. Because that one hook that my bridle's hanging on is bad. All right, we will. So as she was saying that when she was a little girl, or what she used to hear was that they were fairy knots, and that fairies would come only to special little horses that were mad, that were really good, amazing horses, and they would braid their hair, or they would put knots in their hair so that they could climb up and they would ride the horse or the pony at night. Come on, that's such a nice story. Do you really believe that? I believe that it's a fun, interesting story. I think what a great story to tell a little girl that's come to groom her pony and I finds not. knots all the time. <laughs> Okay, I might not believe it, but it makes me wonder, what other old wives tales do you guys know? Share them in the comments below. I know I've told you guys to comment a lot of things today. Comment whatever one you remember. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are. Just the way you came. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Don't you know that you're